Okay, so this is a recall box 7.2, and uh, it's only just come out. I'm running it on an SSD drive. I don't usually run these uh, gaming builds on an SSD drive, but I figured I'd give it a try this time. Uh, but the ROMs and the BIOS files are on a 500 gig physical drive. This is a Toshiba drive. And uh, it's an inexpensive way of getting loads of ROMs onto a system. It's actually got the ROMs and the BIOS files from Nostalgia Trip uh, by Damaso. And uh, it's a brilliant build, but that's based on RetroPie. But I've changed the folder names. I did it in my previous Recall Box video, so I explain how I did it on that, how to get all the ROMs on there. Um, but uh, I've bought one of these May Flash Bars, uh, which allows you to use a Wiimote as a light gun. I'm not going to do that in this video because I need to download more gun games and play around with it. But uh, the reason I got that is because it says here, it's time to reload the arrival of light gun support. This new feature has been much anticipated by our users. Light gun games are now available in Recall Box 7.2 without any configuration necessary. That will be very interesting to try, but I figure I need a separate video for that. Uh, anyway, let's uh, zoom into screen capture and have a look. Okay, so it's got the the skin I really like on Recallbox, the default skin, uh, which shows you all the console systems, the year of release, and various different information. I love the way that's done. Uh, and if we pick something like PSP, uh, you can see if I then press A to click on it, uh, it gives you the artwork and also starts to play the video of the game. And uh, I've run this through the scraper, uh, so this didn't come with any ROMs, BIOS, or games, or anything like that. Well, it actually did come with some games. It came with... Uh, some sort of built-in ones that they put in on, on quite a few systems. Uh, so there are things that you can play straight away, but now I've added all these uh, from this physical drive. Obviously, there's a lot of content on there. But uh, yeah, just hover on it, and the, just the presentation overall is amazing. I'm not getting any sound anymore, so I'm just going to address that. There's a sound setting there. So it's on analog output at the moment, uh, which I'm going to switch to HDMI. There you go, and you hear it's coming through my speaker now. All the menus, I think of all the systems, and I'm not saying this is the best system. Uh, I There's so many great systems, we, we've got so many great options, but from a simplicity point of view uh, and an initial setup, I just think Recallbox does it incredibly well. I think it's actually harder to do little tweaks. So if you're trying to uh, improve the performance of various different systems, I think Recallbox is slightly harder, but if you just want simplicity, uh, it's brilliant for that, and the presentation is, is excellent as well. So I need to change the game because it's playing lots of music in the background. Um, but yeah, so as I flick through, just really, really impressive. So let's go back to systems again, go into PlayStation. Uh, and you can see it very quickly picks it up. And it seems to have scraped incredibly accurately because so many things are up there. Of course, I say that and something turns up. I might have some of my own ROMs uh, which I've added to this, so they may not be named correctly, so it might not pick, and pick something up properly. I mean, it still means you can play the game, but it's amazing that it's done so much of this on its own. So let's go back from that and go back into that start menu. There's a couple of things I wanted to show. Uh, so. The way you get it to run the ROMs from a USB device is uh, by changing it under system settings. So you can see here system settings uh, and you can see on mine storage device. And if you change that through internal share partition, any external device and uh, my 500 gig drive. So you can have the ROMs, initially I put the ROMs on the SSD and I will be doing that for the light gun games uh, because I'm, I'm just gonna use uh, a setup for light gun games to see how well that runs. But uh, yes, yeah, super, super easy to do that. I also saw under virtual systems, so under advanced and virtual systems, uh, there is the light gun option on this. Now, I don't know what else I've got to do because I haven't really got any light gun games on here, so I guess none are going to show up on there. Uh, but uh, yeah, virtual systems, and you can see here, show light gun system is off at the moment. Actually, I did turn it on the SSD, but now obviously I'm using the physical drive. So let's click that on, see what happens actually. So if I go back, so it looks like it wants to restart, so let's give that a try. Oh, so it doesn't do a full restart. My screen capture has kept recording and you know, the picture has stayed up and everything. 
And I love the way that every time Recall Box starts, it has a different intro, and uh, some of them are based on PlayStation, on Dreamcast, on other systems, and also there's one that goes through a lot of the changes, which is nice to see. Uh, here we go. Oh, a light gun's there. Oh, okay. So it's picked up light gun, and uh, it says 48 games are available. Okay, well that'll be interesting when I do the light gun video. Um, so other things uh, I was going to show were overclocking. Overclocking is built into this now, and it's very, very easy to overclock. So we've got a main menu, advanced settings, overclock, you can see at the top there, and I can switch it to whatever I need. Now I regularly overclock at 2147, you can see it says no limit there, so I'm just going to go with that and go back and here you go it says the system's going to reboot this probably will do a proper reboot this time because uh, I'm guessing it's got to change the config.txt and I, I don't think it's going to be able to do that uh, without rebooting the system so let's see what happens so it did need a restart to do the overclock settings which is pretty logical uh, so if I go down to BIOS checking I really like this thing about recall box if I click on a you can see as I flick through some of them have got a, a thumbs up some of them have got a thumbs down so this means that it has the the actual uh, BIOS files to be able to play the game uh, in some cases it will play it anyway so, uh, and, and you can see on the right hand side uh, in most cases this BIOS is not mandatory little things like that just make it so logical and you don't really have to think too much about it uh, it's telling you the exact file so you can obviously search for that and get everything you need to to be able to add to it so very very impressive now things that they said on the press release better 3d performance on raspberry pi 4 uh, the team has optimized recall box allowing almost all n64 dreamcast naomi and the thomas wave games to run at full speed that's really impressive there's also on the first boot you get what they call an enhanced installation uh, and it says discover just what recall box is capable of with eight overview slides while installing for the first time a tutorial is available on both odroid go advanced and super to help new users become familiar with the special buttons and there's also a new game clip screensaver uh, so it says here a new screensaver option play videos of your games with a plethora of options fast forward rewind add to favorites start the game and more so this is if you don't touch anything, it will start playing a video. I don't know how long it takes to do that, um, but uh, that's nice to see. So it also says that five new supported systems are added to the nearly 120 systems available. Bluetooth audio is also supported now, which is great. The main menus have also been rewritten. They're now faster, consume less memory, and are more intuitive. The kernels have been updated on the Raspberry Pi, so 5.10 for all Raspberry Pis. So there's more information on their site, but I figured I'd go through a few of the things that stood out to me. Okay, so let's have a look at the systems. Uh, so Dreamcast is always an impressive one on Pi, uh, and this is one that's been improved. Let's try Demolition Racer. Not sure if I've tried that in another video. I'll try and do something different so I'm not playing the same games, although I would always want to be playing Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX by choice. But unfortunately, that runs way too fast on Dreamcast. It runs all right on the PlayStation 1, but all emulators I've tried run uh, the Dreamcast version way, way too fast. The clock runs at super quick speed, and I've never been able to fix it. But the GameCube one version works perfectly on my on my M1 uh, MacBook Air. So all the video, all the sound, excellent. No stutters uh, in everything. It's it's weird that Dreamcast runs as well as it does on the Pi, because something like N64 usually struggles. Although this is purported to be much better performance on that, so I'm going to try that in a minute. Oh, trigger buttons. Oh, I might have played this in another video. But it's it's decent. Nice and smooth, loads of cars, not, not uh, slowing down any of the action or anything. The sound is perfect throughout. Oh, wasn't quite what I meant to do. Yeah, so there's no issue with that. So start, select, and the Xbox button quits me back out. Oh, a bit of wrestling there. Go on, I'll try that. I haven't tried that before. Ah, excellent. All the commentaries in Japanese. And the writing. This is pretty decent. 
obviously with wrestling games you're going to need to know the keys the moves and stuff which i don't but i'll give it a, i'll just see how smooth it looks oh, he's keen that it looks good though oh no no it's not good oh what do the shoulder buttons do oh <laughs> okay so the triggers do that Oh, go on. Oh, yeah, it runs perfectly well. Don't know what I'm doing, but it runs perfectly well, as you can see. Let's try a few buttons at once. Oh, I could have done something. Oh, hold on. <laughs> and let's try a bit of N64. The menus and when it quits out of a game and things like that have definitely been improved. It does it does just switch between it, it's so smooth and uh I'm really really impressed with it. Right, so you can see there's a port section there. Various different games. I think these are installed. Uh, in fact, let's try, let's just click on Doom and see if it is pre installed because it's not something I've added. And does it work with the controller straight off? Yeah, it does. And I haven't had to do anything. That changes my weapon, the triggers. What's straight? Oh, the buttons are straight. Yeah, so it's perfectly set up. I have to get used to uh, A is select and B is back which is the opposite of RetroPie, but I, for me it's more logical, I, I prefer that way around, but I'm so used to doing RetroPie that uh, I'm, I'm always pressing the wrong button on it. Right, so PSP is always impressive. Ah, but, so this happens, and this is, it must be one game that it selects, and I haven't worked out which one it is yet, uh, but as soon as it selects, it restarts. But if I go, uh, and I haven't, I haven't really tried which which one it is. But as soon as it it uh, highlights it, it quits out. So I'm going to go backwards uh, and pick something from here. So let's try. Well, we've already done a fighting game. Let's do a bit of Ridge Racer. And I couldn't find uh, this. Going back to to how you tweak things. So uh, PPSSPP and RetroPie, you go back into that main menu. I couldn't find how to do it. Although I didn't try pressing Escape. No. Um, so I'm sure there's a way. And there's a really good. Uh, there's loads of instructions and documents online uh, on the Recallbox site. Um, but uh, I haven't looked into it yet. But. It, I couldn't see a way of getting back into the sort of traditional PPSSPP menu. But then in some ways that's less jarring because you're not kind of showing another system. But I like to be able to tweak it, uh, especially with something like PPSSPP. Some games you need to run in the native resolution, not two times, which I think this is probably is, because a lot of games run PPSSPP at two times fine. Yeah, all the menus are lovely and quick. Graphics look pretty decent. Can't get out of the car. I'd rather be out of the car. No, it doesn't really matter. Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same. If you if you break into a corner, it's a really aggressive power slide. I played the original Ridge Racer on my Pi Zero the other day. Yeah, that works nicely. Right, let's give that a try outside the car. In fact, what was that? That was left trigger. Oh, but you've only got one view. So let's try N64. Uh, I've tried Excite Bike and uh, Destruction Derby 64, which are games that don't run well on the Pi. They still don't run that well on this. Um, they they just seem to have a problem with this. Uh, so let's try a bit of racing, a bit of penny racers. Well, not the greatest of graphics this game, is it? I thought I'd played this before. Maybe I'd played it on something else before. But it's running fine. Speed seems to be right and everything. Bit of ready to rumble boxing. Or do we go round two? Oh, the star ratings look. So the top one has got a better star rating, so let's go with that. Yeah, sound and all the menus seem to work nicely. Yeah, that looks nice and fast. Oh, it's the right, so it's the right stick. Here we go. Now we're talking. 
Anyway, you can see that seems to be working pretty well. Oh, and I'm out. Am I out? No, I'm not yet. <laughs> Let's go with a bit of Superman. One star review. So it seems to be coping with that pretty well. Uh, I can move around all right. I can fly up and down. And it's nice and smooth. And the audio is pretty decent as well. Bit of Blast Corpse, that's got quite a good review. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, it does seem to run pretty smoothly and the music is fine. And uh, the destruction part of this game seems quite fun. Is that a jump? Oh. Yeah, pretty good. Right, let's cut out of that. So super impressed with that. Uh, it really does look great. It's super simple to understand how to use it. It's really nicely set up. The polish on it is excellent. Uh, I just need to go through those light gun games and see what runs really. I see it's showing 325 games available now and it's showing multiple games. But what I'm gonna do is work out what games look like they're worth playing and uh, transfer them over to my SSD. Because if I switch cameras, you can see that at the moment, all my USB sockets are taken up. I've got my mouse keyboard on the bottom there. I've got my physical drive. I've got my controller and I've got my SSD. Uh, so, and I've got one more than I would have on a Pi 400. So running it in this configuration and a light gun bar isn't gonna work for me. But uh, as I say, I can transfer all the light gun games over to the SSD drive that's in there and then get up and running. Just a final note, I've looked through the recall box menus to see what games are listed as light gun, had a look at some of the ones I thought I might be interested in, and I've written all of those down. So now I'm using the same configuration, so physical drive, uh, which is where all the uh, ROM files were. Uh, I've also got my SSD, which has got recall box in it, plugged in, but I've now booted off the SD card, so I'm running Raspberry Pi OS, and uh, as you can see from the screen, everything is all showing up. So let's switch over to screen capture. So you can see on the desktop, 500 gig. So let's go with that. And uh, I need to look in the recall box and also uh, whichever system I'm looking at under ROMs. So ROMs and PSX uh, is the first one I'm gonna look in because there was a Resident Evil in there that looked cool. So Resident Evil Survivor is the one I've written down. You can see the big one here, 195.8, and that's a PBP file. So I'll copy that. Going to share, this is on my SSD now, and ROMs, and it's way quicker uh, running from an SSD. And let's pop that in there. You can see I've already got point blank there. and I'll just keep copying them over and then they'll be ready for another video. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.